I loved talking with him, and sometimes it was just sitting there in silence. You know, he wasn't always terribly communicative. A lot of the time we spent talking about his moods or my moods, uh, his depression. It was, it was, it was a total uh, unknown territory to me. So that when it began to steal over me, this, this insidious depression, which in my case came fairly slowly, mm. um, I, I did have time to eventually realize what was happening to me. Bill was just terrific with people who had suffered from depression. You know, he was very sympathetic, very practical, and deeply kind to people and spent a lot of time with people. And I was very impressed by that because there are a lot of people who who talk about depression and how much they'd like to do about it. At the end of the day, they don't do a whole lot about it, or they write a single book and they go on the talk shows and then they disappear into the woodwork. Uh, Bill didn't do that. He and his friends were willing to go out and talk about what they had been through. It helped enormously with destigmatizing the illness, but much more importantly, bringing the illness into the awareness of the American public. I think that one of the things that's so powerful about Darkness Visible is that, in fact, that book describes so well the physical aspects of depression. It's not just the, the black mind and the, and the ruminations and the suicidality, but he also describes that terrible slowing down and unbearable pain and of depression. I think it's very hard for people who've never been depressed to understand how exceedingly painful the condition is. And I think Bill did that remarkably well in his book.